Right, so the plan of action then is uh, I'm going to be putting the French drain going along the front of the wall. Now, it is probably something I should have installed before putting the wall in place, but to be honest, I thought with the slope of the garden, I wouldn't have to. So you can see, it only rained this morning. It's still got massive pools at the front down here. There are big dips in the clay here. That's why it is quite bad. And on this side, um, it's fairly smooth. So this looks wet, but it's, well, to be fair, it's quite moist still. But a lot of it is running off. Even there, you can see quite a bit of water that, you know, stand on that now, look at that. It's just a quick sand almost. Now, I think a big part of the problem is I dug the trench for the wall to sort of sit into. But then I filled the trench with sand and the water's just seeping through the sand. It's to be a bit of hardcore and it's just all sitting and it's soaking into the wall and it's got nowhere to drain off to. So I'm going to dig a trench from this side all the way down to that side. And then there's a drainage pipe over here which just will hopefully match up to, which will take it down to that drain. You can see over here, this is where the water waste pipe is on the drainage pipe. And you can see there's actually a perforated pipe there already. That's going into this drain. So most of it's in place. I've just got to put the rest in for this part of the wall. I've just been digging now, and I've just found a little bit there that you can see. We've got a perforated drainage pipe there. See if anyone spot the the, uh, the issue with my hose pipe at the moment. So there we go. Lovely jubbly. It's uh, got a nice crack in it. There we go. So I've got this hole up now. You see it drains off pretty quick. So that's telling me that that drain pipe there is clearly doing the job it's supposed to be doing and taking the water away. Plan for today, dig this trench a little bit deeper um, and see where we can go from there. I'm getting maybe a pipe in with the stone. And yeah, see where we end up. Right, so after the final day of digging, this is where I've ended up. So you can see the trench goes all the way down to the pipe over here. Now, this one's perforated, so it will drain off. You can see there's a bit of sand there, sort of blocking some of the excess water going through. Um, but I've got a slight decline all the way. Now, it's not perfect, and some of the water is probably gonna sit at the bottom of the pipe anyway. Uh, but I don't think it'll be much of an issue because you can see, well, hopefully you can see anyway, the distance between the wall and the water in the trench is quite, uh, far so I'm hoping it'll do the job it'll keep the water away from the wall anyway that's the main goal um, and yeah I can get the pipe running through take it down to that perforated pipe and hopefully it'll alleviate any issues we've got with the drainage uh, where the sleep wall is right so I've got these bags of gravel from B&Q only cost about three quid each and it says as well they're good for uh, drainage so fingers crossed they leave sort of the right void spaces between uh, the holes in the perforated pipe so I've got as you can see, seven bags going across here. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more, uh, but I thought I'd get these for now and see how far it, it gets me. Something I did forget to mention was that I'm using this landscaping fabric just to run it all the way along the trench itself. Uh, and what that does is just keeps a lot of the clay and the dirt out of um, the space where the pipe's gonna be. Now, what I've not done is I've not connected this to the drainage pipe that's there. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this fabric here in a moment so it'll expose the pipe that's underneath. And this is perforated anyway, so it's going to run off into it now. What I could do is I could cut a hole in this pipe, which may, well, definitely make the drainage a little bit better. But I'm thinking it'll pool here anyway, but it's going to drain down into this pipe. And then down into the grid over there. So I'm not really seeing any point in actually cutting the hole in it. Now, it's probably not the most effective way of doing it, but it'll still just do the job that it's supposed to do anyway. So we said we get on. So all I've got to do now is I've got to get the stone. I've got to fill the rest of this over the top. And hopefully the French drain should be sorted.
So as you can see now, there's hardly any moisture trapped at the bottom of the wall. It's absolutely bone dry now going across. We've got perfectly working French drain system. And all the way down towards the pipe and across down into here. Now the last thing I've got to do is got to take all this clay that's been mounted up there and I'm going to start looking at these patches over here where you can see we've got big massive divots in the clay and we start padding some clay out here and hopefully smooth it off a bit ready for the topsoil. So French drain done. Next step, sorting out this, getting some turf down. Oh, 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 oh,